Come on in, you guys. Come on in. Let there be one. Let there be one. Hey, this is Pam from Beef Fit For You. I'm in here in the kitchen. I'm in my culinary Beef Fit For You lab. Let me get myself all the way together so you guys can see. I was trying to get y'all in my crock pot because I'm not going to be before y'all long. But uh, this is Pam from Beef Fit For You. Beef Fit For You spiritually. Look, I got on my gear today. I got on my merch. Be fit for you emotionally, be fit for you physically, and be fit for you financially. I'm in the kitchen cooking all this deliciousness, and so I was thinking, I've made Mississippi pot roast on here before. I was like, let me jump on, share this demonstration again. This is so good, so delicious. It kind of just cooks on its own. Once you put it in the crock pot, put all your ingredients in here. This will have you licking your fingers. Your guests will be licking their fingers. And that's what I'm going for for tomorrow. So I'm going to jump on in. What are you guys doing today? I know it's Christmas Eve. or y'all out shopping? Because I don't see. Let there just be one. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. So <laughs> y'all out there trying to get them last minute gifts. <laughs> oh, procrastination. So anywho, I'm going to get in and let y'all see. This is such an easy uh, recipe. I've made it on, on live here before. But this, I was just like, let me just share, you know, again, y'all may have missed it. You may be new. <clears throat> you may be looking for a way to, you know, make your roast that you still might have froze. <laughs> but nonetheless, thaw it on out. Use this recipe. Make it do what it do. I am looking for my shears, my kitchen shears, so I can cut up with my packets. And they may be sitting on my counter already. But I've already cleaned and prepped my roast. Like I said before, I always wash, <coughs> rinse. I'm gonna say that. Let me say rinse my meat when I get it from the uh, from the market because you know when they're cutting it in the market, the butchers are cutting it. It gets that gritty, grindy kind of tape or film on it. I don't like that. I don't be liking that. So I just go in and just give it a good little rinse. So. I got it all prepped. I got it in my crock pot. As you see, I like these crock pot liners. I love, love, love. It makes clean up really simple. So this crock pot, this Mississippi pot roast calls for French dip or juice. I'm going to use two packets because I've got a lot of roast here. I ain't going to say a lot because somebody already said it seemed like I'm making a lot of food. This right here in the pot, you guys, is about five pounds of pot roast. But if you know pot roast, honey, when it's good, it seems like it's a pound, okay? Because it'd be that good. Before you know it, you've already eaten up a good pound, you know? And it asks for, let me see, get that in there, ranch seasoning or the ranch dressing. And I like, when I make this, I like to use these. You know, you can use whatever brand you want to use, but you got to have the French dip au jus and uh, you got to have the ranch seasoning. It also calls for butter and it also asks for gold or you got to have, uh, now see, you got to have these pepperoncinis. I got to get it right because I always be messing this up, but pepperoncinis and this is the brand that I use and butter. You don't have to put any liquid in it. You're just going to put these. It's five ingredients. Your roast, your juice, your French dip, your ranch seasoning dressing, and butter. This is going to cook for eight hours on low. It does work by itself. Once you get the meat prepared, cook, you know, get it prepared and clean, it does it work by itself. Actually, I want to put my ranch seasoning on it first. So let me cut those open first. It's not a right or wrong way. I just have my particular way that I want to do it. So, y'all, that's my OCD isms. So I have it on just about anything when I prepare food, when I clean, when I organize. It's just how I operate. All right, and like I said, I've got. I want to make sure that every little nook and cranny of this roast be delicious. So I got, I had two roasts, so I got two packets of the ranch dip, the ranch seasoning, and two of the French au jus. 
no liquid has to be put in here it makes its own and then i'm going in with this and the last time i made it you guys i was supposed to do a live but honey i had uh just started getting well i got my second my bottom row of braces on and even though this was this meat melted in your mouth my jaws were hurting so bad because of with the tightening of the wires on the top set that they had done honey i could y'all would have been like what that woman doing drooling all on the show like that roast can't be that good if she's going through all of that. But <laughs> it was good. I just, yeah, I was technical difficulties with these braces. And they sometimes are now letting me be great. And uh, I'm appreciative of that. So I have put off in here. I've got the, the roast so far. I've got the ranch dressing. And I've got the au jus French dip. Now I'm going to go in with the butter. Y'all, I'm probably going to be uh, Paula Dean in it because, I, you know, butter, hey, I got to, you know, I want it to be right. Now, you, I, I use this right here I'm using is uh, Imperial. You can use whatever butter you want. Be on a health kick. You can use whatever you want. But this is, I like this butter. And I also use another butter for my cake, which is Lando Lakes. But for my roast, yeah, probably just be, you know, good right there. We put a little bit more butter off in there. Yes, I was like, you know what? This is a good time to come on and show. Don't share it with the people, Pam. Let them see how you be making a goodness so they can make some goodness for their family. Yeah, you know, sharing is caring. It's Christmas time. It's free. It's something, you know, I'm that gift that keeps on giving. Okay, so go on and share me with your friends, your family, and what y'all waiting on your neighbor. I know y'all be talking to them. Come on now. I'm not the only one that's lovable and loved by my neighbors. Well, you know, one or two, but that's enough for me. <laughs> no, I know pretty, I know a lot of my neighbors, you know. Hey, how y'all doing? They pretty nice. We got some nice uh, neighbors over here where I'm at. Really, really nice. Yeah, okay. So the last thing that I need to put in, you guys, is my pepperoncinis. I'm going to get me a fork out. And now um, these are these are not spicy. They just give it a good flavor. These are not like jalapenos. These are not habaneros. So don't, don't you know, be scared to like, you know, use them. Let them, let them use them, Lord. Let them use it. <laughs> it's just like a flavoring. And I'm going to put about five or six of these in there because again I have two roasts in here <clears throat> y'all I've been doing good I got up got started doing my prepping I've been on my water this is your first time here I'm always on a fitness kick because part of be fit for you is be fit for you uh, physically so got to get my water in got to stay hydrated Hey, glad I got one in the room. I'm so glad. Thank you for coming in and watching. I appreciate you. Now, please, if you feel it in your spirit, please like, please share, and follow Be Fit For You's page. Thank you. I'm going to put a couple more off in here, you guys. Because I want the goodness to be all up and through. Okay? I'll put that in one. So, let's see. All right. That's it. That is, that is all the preparing you have to do to make this Mississippi pot roast. No liquid has to go in. It's going to make its own gravy. Honey, and it's going to be gravy, okay? <clears throat> this is a six-quart um, crock pot that I have. So I just love that it fits everything in. So... Everything will have its own good room. So, you know, marinate and marry together. Now I'm sealing it in. I like these little logs. Baby, I have to wrestle. It's a good thing I work out, Jesus. <laughs> and I think I got them on backwards. Might help if I put them on right, y'all. That's why I'm over here wrestling. Now I did have them on wrong. I don't normally use this one, this crock pot, because it is a family size crock pot and I have guests coming. so. It was good to you so that is the correct way and that is the wrong way <laughs> so I was like let me get out my big let me get out my big boy because I got a three-quart one that I usually I use on my last um, time I made this on a video 
because it was just I was just gonna be eating. But since I got family and friends coming tomorrow, I was like, yeah, let me get my big boy out. So I'm gonna scooch that back, turn on my power, and I'm going to put it on eight hours for low, and that's it. I'm done. Like, you know, so that would be doing what it needs to do. Yes, it, it will make its own gravy. I can move on to something else. But before I go, you guys, I want to just let y'all know I want to, I appreciate you all for the love and support. <clears throat> I'm going to put y'all right there because I want y'all to see my greens before I get out of here. Yes, honey. I want y'all to, you know, see my other deliciousness I got in here. I will bring y'all a little closer. I'm going to let y'all get here, but, you know, watch, watch the glasses and watch your eyes because the, the steam and the smell, baby, it's, it's on point up in here. I promise you. <laughs> yes. Let me see. Okay, I got y'all right there, right there. Get into it. Get into it. I got that ham hock off in there. So if, you, if this is not if, you know, you have to watch, like, your starter or, you know, you're on the hip. You can use turkey. You can use turkey neck or turkey wings, you know, the smoked ones. I've even used smoked neck bones in my greens before. You can use whatever's health-wise conscious for you and your family. But you know, these don't have some good old ham hog in it. Cause I wanted you, I want to get a ham, but like I said, people were saying, oh, you got a lot of food you're cooking. Oh, you're making so much food. So I could just imagine if I'd have told them we was having some spiral ham or something. <laughs> so I ain't do it. I ain't do it. But all right, you guys, that was a demonstration of the Mississippi pot roast. Hopefully I'll come back before y'all probably tomorrow or I'll follow up on Sunday. Let y'all know how good it was. But I definitely would like to do it tomorrow, especially while I have friends and family here. So, I just, uh, this is your first time coming in. I am Pam with Be Fit For You. My platform is and always will be Be Fit For You spiritually. Be Fit For You emotionally. Be Fit For You physically. And definitely Be Fit For You financially. If y'all find it in your spirit, especially this time of the year, you know it's better to give than to receive. Give me. The gift that keeps on giving, bringing y'all delicious treats and eats. I will be forever grateful. Go ahead and share with your family, your friends, your co-workers, your neighbor once again. I love you guys. Thank y'all for joining me. If you came by and this was already, you know, I'd already left, but the light was on. Just let me know you came by and just tell me what's on the replay. Love y'all. Happy holidays.